Neil Burton's opponent is this man. And yeah, that's the way he started uh, each of his games, Dick Ritkirk. Now we get a look at 32 year old Neil Burton. He's 5'6 and the powerful 135 pounder, your brother, Bo. Chris, he stays in good shape, does a lot of weightlifting, and this is his first big opportunity. Coming up on a high hit, leaving the 3, 6, 10 on the right lane. What a tough situation he's in. He has never been in this situation before, going for all the marbles, number one spot. Neil with really ideal form. He switched from what we call a full roller to a semi-roller, and you notice how he opens his hand at the top of the swing, pointing his thumb outward. Full rollers keep it inward. It has a nice turn over the ball. See the wrist breaking through quite well. Just pull that one. All right, well done. Nelson, it must seem a little uh, strange to be commenting about your very own little brother. Oh, I never thought he could do it, Chris. He uh, spent many years in college. He got out of it with his degree and. He really didn't know what he wanted to do, and then uh, he got married a couple years ago and says, hey, you know, I'd, I'd like to try some bowling. He got serious about it, and uh, the 229 average says that uh, he knows what's happening. But this is a different situation for him. Never been on national television, never bowled for a title. But he's a tough little competitor, I'll tell you. I hope Richter doesn't take him too lightly, or maybe I should. <laughs> Second frame. Ooh, what a way to start a championship match. Four, seven, nine, ten for Neil Burton. Neil laying the ball short. He lost it at the bottom of the swing. The ball breaks through. Four, seven, nine, ten. Truly a tough break in this situation. He's opened the door for Ricker right out of the box. That's my sister-in-law, Pat Burton. Just flew in from St. Louis. through the second. He just completed the two toughest frames of his life. Oh, boy. And Ricker, who is nice and loose and experienced, trying to be only the fourth man to win 20 PBA titles or more. Second frame, strike working in the first. And a high hit, 3-6-10 for Ritker on the right lane. This Rick could very well be his last year. Well, you know, Chris, he's so interested in the teaching. He runs the bowling camps, which are getting popular around the country, teaching young players in summer camps, spending time in Europe. And he keeps saying it every year, but with the talent he has, it's still enjoyable to use it. And uh, as we said, going for his 20th title, the only other men that have that many are Earl Anthony, Dick Weber, and Don Johnson. Dick Weber, our host a week from today. Oh. So it's a spare in the second frame, 20 through the first, leading by 16. As we see as the day has worn on, Chris, we've been on the air an hour and 15 minutes. The right-hand lane, which everybody liked, is now breaking too much. The left-hand lane, which everybody disliked, seems to be their favorite. So Ritker up on the lane that gave him trouble, which was actually the one that led him to the wins because his opponents couldn't strike on it, is now his favorite lane. We've seen both players in this match go high on the right-hand lane. Now the left-hand lane hooking a little more should be just right. Yeah. 40 through the second with a strike up. But right now, Neil Burton will be up. During Neil. open frame, shooting in the third. Neil has great determination and tremendous concentration. He has the ability to concentrate and stay determined. You can see it in the look on his face. Uh, he just has to get those nerves under control and make good shots here. Four pen. Neil being short, Chris, uh, you notice that right foot, he has a tennis shoe. And uh, I asked him uh, why he really used a tennis shoe all the time, and here's what he had to say. Well, Bo, as you know, I use the tennis shoe in order to have uh, added traction on the approach, which is especially helpful to me when I need to throw harder. And uh, when you do throw harder, you, most people have a tendency to pull up the line. And with this added traction off my uh, right foot, 
I don't have that tendency to pull off the line. So if uh, it's been working for me, I, a few of the other bowlers have tried it. I don't know how successful they have been with it. Can't you see the number of uh, bowlers around the country going to the tennis shoe this week? <laughs> it's not a bad idea for the right. shorter player, Chris. Neil has tried using the long approach, such as Marshall Holman, to generate the speed, but he lost his timing. And with the sneaker, he can drive harder off at the bottom of, on his last step, and it does give him the added speed. Leaving the six pin on the left lane, looking for his first strike in this championship game. He's getting uh, what the baptism of fire. Most people don't realize that you spend uh, an hour sitting over in the wings, and that's the reason no tournament leader has won so far this year. These lanes have changed a tremendous amount in the amount of break and angle in the last hour and 15 minutes, and it's very difficult to acclimate in just a few practice shots before he starts. So, Neil Burton marks with a spare 17 pins separating these pros. 